let me show you one situation the question says the magnetic field due to a long cylindrical wire okay magnetic field due to a long cylindrical wire in first case we are dealing with case one is current is flowing on the surface of the conductor so imagine that you have a hollow copper wire let us say okay and all the current is flowing along the along the surface only so we'll be talking about two different scenarios one will be when we'll talk about a point which is inside the wire okay another one will be a point which is outside the wire and let's see how we deal with it and how we apply ampere circuit law so you have to be very careful with it okay number one will be inside the wire the radius is capital r and if i draw an amperian loop at this point i want to find let us say at a distance of d where d is certainly less than r which means it is inside okay and outside the wire outside the wire also we have to find out again let's draw an amperian loop at this point let us say we have to find the value of magnetic field intensity and uh, obviously in this case you can see that when d is greater than r what happens let's apply so we have drawn this this is our amperian loop which is a circle so what we can write integral of b vector dot dl vector b vector dot dl vector is equal to b vector dot dl vector is equal to mu naught times i enclosed or current which is threading in or out of the circuit right i enclosed or i inside okay now think about this again which direction i'm i'm going to take i'm going to take anti clockwise direction right i'm going to take anti clockwise which means the current which is coming out okay will be what positive now if i draw if i am trying to draw the top view of this imagine you are looking at a pipe where all this current is coming only out from the periphery you have got only periphery and the current is only coming out from the periphery nothing in between and you have an amperian loop somewhere over here is there any current associated with it so if i if i just want to look from the top and i'm looking from the top okay what i'm going to see i'm going to see a circle the radius is d small d the point over here let's call this point sp okay and i can see that this is my amperian loop isn't it hmm interesting this is the direction that i have given it to the loop but there is no current which is threading in and out of the circuit there is no current which is going or flowing through this loop itself there is no current which is associated with this amperian loop are you getting my point there is nothing inside the current is out outside the current is somewhere over here outside the current is over here nothing is threading in and out of the loop what does that mean it means that i enclosed is equal to zero if that is the situation then definitely we know that b will be equal to zero did you understand since there is no current which is enclosed within that amperian loop or there is no current which is threading in or out of the loop directly we can say that this has to be equal to easy cool let's take the second situation okay what is the status of second situation well second situation we are going outside the wire we have a point let us say p and we are going outside the wire again let's designate the direction of the loop okay make it a habit if you want to but later on once you have practiced a couple of sums probably uh, five or 10 sums you will understand by yourself that okay you don't need to again and again uh, draw this direction directly you can always assume it to be anti clockwise and you know you can solve it your choice okay i am leaving it up to you this is how i do it okay so i would obviously have a bias towards it but you want to follow that it's always better okay so my i'll recommend that but it's totally your choice totally your choice okay there is uh, no constraint that you have to follow this only different different books say different things about it so i'm just leaving uh, the final thing to you that how you do it the main thing is that you should be able to crack the question that should be the the goal or the idea anyways now again look at this look at this situation again try to look from the top it, see imagination is is what is required it's it's possible uh, for uh, for you know for us to probably make you visualize everything with all these designated diagrams and animations 
but when it comes to your exam, it's always a two-dimensional picture. Correct? So, imagination is very important for you. We can only make you visualize up to a certain limit. And then you have to visualize it yourself. You have to imagine yourself. So, imagine looking at this wire from the top. What do you see? What do you see? You'll have a wire like this. The point D is somewhere over here. Or the point P is somewhere over here which is at a distance of D from the axis, correct? And over here, all the current is only flowing along the outer, outer periphery, that is the surface, outer surface. And we have an amperian loop over here. We have an amperian loop like this, correct? It's a circle of this, having radius of small d. Now, what I can say about this, again, we start off with Ampere circuital law B dot DL is equal to mu naught times I inside or I enclosed or I threading through this loop. What is this? Again, we'll take it in this direction. Correct. Now, you know that the direction of B and most of the time we'll be assuming this. If nothing is given, you always assume this. Okay. Tell your portions. This is what is given. So, even if you think about it, it's just like a wire where the current is going outwards, right? So, I can I can I draw it like this, that there is the current, there is a current carrying conductor from which the current is, sorry, coming outwards, out of the plane, 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 and like this, okay? It's like arrows which are coming out like this, correct, okay? Between it's a hollow, but... When you look at this amperian loop, the entire current, which is I, is enclosed within this, right? And what is the direction? If the direction of DL is this, this is the direction of DL, the direction of the magnetic field also will be in the same direction, see? Yes, now you are getting it. Now you are getting a nick of it. I'll, I'll, I'll go slow, don't worry. I'll go slow, okay? These are the nook and corners where you should understand. Understanding is very important, okay? So, what I'm saying is just imagine that all these arrows are coming towards you. Now, you can imagine that, right? Okay. Then we have an amperian loop like this. Okay. We have to integrate this. We have taken the, the convention, the direction as anti-clockwise direction. So, now what we can do is we can find out that, okay, if the current is coming outward, what is the direction of the magnetic field? What is the direction of the magnetic field? Along this direction only, no? Correct. Yes. So, at any given point, if you see the direction of DL and the direction of B is along the same direction, which means this dot product is going to have the angle in terms of angle, the angle between these two vectors will be equal to zero degree. So, I can write this as B into DL into cos theta. What will be the value of theta? Theta will be equal to zero. So, what do we get? B times DL. Okay. Now, B is also constant. B is also constant along this amperian loop. B is constant, so B will come outside. We'll have closed integral of DL vector, or now it's just DL because we have already used the formula B into DL into cos theta, where theta is zero. So now we have B into DL. And now that is not a vector because dot product always gives you a scalar quantity. That should be equal to mu naught times I inside. What is the value of I? The entire current is inside the amperian loop only, correct? So I, okay. Fine. According to our sign convention, it's positive. If you take it the other way around, then the value of theta will come out to be equal to 180 degree. And the value of current will be also negative. So minus minus will get cancelled. You are going to get exactly the same answer. If you want to do it, do it. No problem. Do it. I have no issues. Okay. So what next? Now we can write closed integral or line integral of this DL. So just imagine... You just go on adding this DL, 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 all these small elements you are adding across the circle. Having the radius of small d, what will be the value? B times 2 pi d is equal to mu naught into i. Now, over here, I have seen many students making a mistake. They will start thinking that the radius is r. No, no, no. You always have to integrate this along the amperian loop. Always have to integrate this along the amperian loop. Okay, so now the value of B will be equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi d over. 
over. This is the result that we were looking for inside and outside. And this is how you see the application of Amperian circuital law is very significant and very important for us. It's all about understanding this and having that sort of an imagination. Okay. Uh, talking about the mathematical complexity, there is nothing in it. It's all about the dot product. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. All right, folks. Tell me, is this all okay? Yes. Till here, no problem. Shall we go ahead? Okay. Let's go ahead then. So, just to make sure that you guys are noting it down, if you want to write something, you can just check inside the wire B is equal to 0. Outside, B is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi d. Okay. The next thing would be to plot a graph, of course, right? So, let's plot a graph. How will the graph look like? Well, you know, till this point, it will be 0. Till it is inside, it will be 0. And when it is outside, what was the expression we had got? Outside, when D was greater than R, we had B is equal to b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi d. So, all this is same constant which means b is inversely proportional to d or b is proportional to 1 by d. So, how the graph is going to look like? Something like this roughly, right? roughly. Correct. So, how it is going to look like? Let's plot it. No problem. Okay. So, b is equal to 0. This is what you get and the maximum value of the magnetic field intensity is what you're going to get at the surface, just along the surface. Correct? Just near to the surface, just outside. Just think of a small amperial loop just outside this, just outside. And the entire current will also be enclosed. Correct? So, at that point of time, what will happen? D will be equal to R. Correct? So, in this expression, if you put D is equal to R, what do you get? Mu naught I 2 pi R. Easy? No problem. There will be a problem when this current is flowing throughout the volume, which means throughout the entire volume. So now we were saying that the current is only flowing along the surface. It's a it's a case of hollow wire, 